Just an out away from celebration here for the storm. The 0-1. Breaking ball swung on, fouled back, 0-2. The rooting section standing tall above that visitor's dugout. Stormfront office with a let's go storm, let's go. Stockton fans not so vocal right now. Not as spirited. Moments away, seconds away. The 0-2 fastball swing and a miss. An exclamation point, and it is a championship moment for the 2011 Lake Elsinore Storm. The dog pile out in front of the pitcher's mound, and the boys will jump on board. It's a winning moment storm style for the third time in franchise history. The Lake Elsinore Storm California League champions. Enjoy it, Storm fans. They're celebrating here at Banner Island Ballpark as the Storm dog pile in between the mound and home plate. And tonight, Nick Schmidt gets the win. Dan Straley suffers the loss. And the Storm will not forget year number 18. With manager Phil Plantier and his coaching staff doing a tremendous job, there will not be a Game 5 tomorrow. The boys win it in four, and tonight it is a final from Banner Island Ballpark. Ten-three visitors. The Stockton Ports, they are walking to their clubhouse. The Storm, they are celebrating by the pitcher's mound. And it will be a celebratory bus ride back to the Diamond, but... Here tonight on this Sunday fun day, a championship moment that does not come around every day. They won it all on the field in 96 co-champs with a postseason cut short due to 9-11 in 2001. And here tonight, it's the team wearing the road gray pants with the red jerseys and the storm cap with the eyes looking right back at you to get the give the high fives and the handshakes and Nick Schmidt the storm starter with a win tonight to clinch this championship series against the Oakland A's affiliate the Stockton Ports wish it had happened at the Diamond and Lake Elsinore so the hometown fans could enjoy this moment as well but for all you listeners thank you kindly for support all season long I appreciate the listenership and as well the loyalty at the Diamond. I know that during a post-game celebration, I'll have a chance to say some thank yous, but the celebration will go on here on the field. A championship trophy will be presented soon enough, and the Storm players are giving high fives and hugs and handshakes right now, and it's a moment that these players and coaches will not soon forget. Hope you enjoyed the play-by-play coverage. 10-3, 10-3, your final. I'm Sean McCall. Adam is in studio. Keep it tuned to KFROG 92.9 and stay tuned for the Lake Elsinore Storm post-game show. The president of the California League, Mr. Charlie Blaney. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, we'd like to tip our hats uh, for a very, very worthy series to the Stockton Ports. Pat Philippone, the president, Webster Garrison, all of the players. It was an exciting series and a wonderful, wonderful year for Stockton. Congratulations. Our first award goes to the series, the championship series, MVP. He got a hit in every game. He was 9 for 17. He hit two home runs. He drove in five. First baseman, Nate Fryman. Nate Fryman, the most outstanding player. They chant MVP, but it is MOP, technically. Can we have uh, the president of the Lake Elsinore Storm, the general manager, and Phil Plantier, the field manager. Phil Plantier took over on June the 2nd. We have Dave Oster, the president. Congratulations, Dave. Chris Jones, the general manager, and Phil Plantier, all here to accept both 
the 2011 Joe Gallardi Championship Trophy presented by Verizon and the 2011 Championship Pennant. Congratulations. And there's the championship trophy being presented to the former big leaguer and store manager, Phil Plantier. I'm taking some snapshots here, and also behind home plate, there's a number of photographers and those that are either holding their phones or having a good quality camera to snap those pictures. Remember, fans, preserve your memories. They're all that's left you. And now the unveiling and unraveling of the championship banner with the trophy held high and Storm players that will hold that banner in front of them, jumping up and down and shouting in all their might and just celebrating a California League championship experience. They're in the batter circle behind home plate. And it's a night where these boys can celebrate storm style and in fine fashion as winners of the 2011 California League Championship Finals. 10-3, again your final. It'll give me a chance to recap some of the madness here tonight, but it started out, fans, in the bottom of the first inning when... Stockton loaded the bases with nobody out, and winning pitcher Nick Schmidt punched out the side. The cleanup hitter, then the shortstop, Dusty Coleman, and then D.H. Josh Whitaker. Strike out, strike out, strike out. The first two swinging, the next one looking, and that's what gave the storm, I thought, a little inspiration. They are jumping about right now. And it's a moment to remember. Here with Nate Fryman and two home runs in the championship clinching win. How do you feel right now? There's nothing better than this. Winning rings, we've been together since March 1st. And to finish with a W like this, this is the best. I know you guys started out rough this year and you ended up the regular season below 500. Did you guys have some doubt early on that you had a championship caliber team? Last year we did the same thing in Fort Wayne. We had a rough start, rough first half of the season. We put it together and came on strong in the second half. We all knew that we, what we were capable of coming out of spring training and really came together at the right time. Yesterday it seemed like you were so close. You had the one nothing lead and then Stockton puts up 11 runs in the seventh. What was the mood like in the locker room after yesterday's beating? We were disappointed to lose, but we still knew we had a 2-1 advantage in the series. We had Nick Schmidt going, who's been unbelievable for us all postseason. We were really confident coming in today. Big home run early today, and then the second home run. When you hit that second one, it was obviously a no-doubter. Did you know then that you guys were going to be champions? You know, I knew with our bullpen uh, that we had a chance right from the start. We put up those five runs early on with Eddie getting that big bases loaded hit. Blackwood getting in the hit with the bases loaded. I had a feeling that our pitching was going to hold him down. I don't want to keep you any longer. Go enjoy it with your teammates. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you the next level. Thanks a lot for having me. All right, Nate. Zach, Nate Fryman, two home runs, most outstanding player, and quite an outstanding offensive effort from the Storm tonight. Kind of took the drama out of the ball game, but I don't think any of the Storm players minded about that, Zach.